When you break up with someone, it's as if they died. She's no longer a part of your life. Everything that made your relationship special becomes a thing of the past. Something that will be relegated to a distant memory. Something you can never relive again because the truth is you're no longer with her. And as a man, this fucking hurts. As men, we have a difficult relationship with our emotions. But when you're going through a breakup, it's as if your emotions overwhelm you in a tsunami of confusion, frustration, sadness, grief, anger, and loss, to put it bluntly. You feel everything everywhere all at once and perhaps the most frustrating part of the breakup as a man is that feeling of a loss of control no longer feeling like you're in the driver's seat of your emotions and feelings for better or for worse when you're with a woman you feel a sense of ownership and responsibility a lot of times as the man you are acting as her protector and provider and to have all of that investment go to waste is a very deep visceral uncomfortable feeling our caveman minds don't do well with some cost and perhaps the worst part of this all is as a man in 2023 once you do become single chances are you don't have any real options meanwhile your ex can't walk three steps without being approached or hit up on a dating app now despite all of this i'm here to tell you that there is a solution to this you can have abundant dating options again i'll share how by the end but first we got to get you over your breakup and in this video i'm going to impart some downloads into your brain that will make moving past this breakup effortless a bet against your future the thing you need to realize is that if a girl breaks up with you she made a bet against your future. She's decided that you as a man and the relationship and future you could have together is not her best option. She's made a bet that she's better off with another man who can replace you and has a brighter, more prosperous future than you. She's literally making a bet against your potential and who you are as a man. And if someone has the conviction to make a bet against your future, then why would you ever want to spend another second with them? As a man, you're not valued for your looks. You're valued on your character, your accomplishments, and your capability. We don't have the intrinsic value that women get for their beauty and their looks. Women and children are valued intrinsically. Men, not so much. Men are only valued insofar as the, what they can provide to society. When a woman ends things with you, she is betting against all of those things. That alone should be enough to make you realize that going back to someone who has such little faith in you is simply not an option. As a man, because you need to build yourself up, the most important thing that you can have is radical self-belief and faith in yourself that you will will be able to conquer and create that future version of yourself, that future that you want for yourself. And as a man, having anyone in your corner who doubts that, be it a woman or a romantic partner who doubts your ability and doubts your future potential, that is self-defeating because that faith and willingness to bet on yourself sometimes when you're in a dark place when things aren't going your way when things are fucking falling apart and the plan is ruined that is all you have that deep visceral self-reliance and knowing that i am going to get to my goal i am going to accomplish what i want in this life in the darkest times on your journey that is quite literally all you have and if the person next to you doesn't even believe in that then they have no place in your life the good times when you're going through a breakup your mind starts to distort reality. You romanticize the past, remember all the good times, and think about how maybe things could have been different if they just worked out. But here's a newsflash, brother. They're not different. Stop remembering the good times and romanticizing your time with her. Instead, remember all the bad times. Remember the reasons you broke up. Snap back to reality. Realize that the girl who's meant for you wouldn't break up with you. If she really loved you and wanted you, she wouldn't have left you. If she was meant for you, she'd be with you right now. You wouldn't be watching this video crying and upset. You can sit there and cry and wonder about how things could have been in some different alternate reality or universe great congratulations that's a great plan if you want to spend months mentally masturbating over a completely made up different reality that doesn't exist and will never exist here and now in the present or what you can do and what i encourage you to do is to live in the current reality you're in accept what happened realize that the perfect girl for you will not come with all this drama and baggage recognize all the bad that came from the relationship see it for what it is and move on with your life don't overemphasize the good because it feels good and it allows you to cling and hold on to the hope that maybe it can work out. Your mind is going to want to play tricks on you. Your mind is going to want to go back and cling to these memories to keep digging up reminders of her. And the reason your mind does this is because it's a sense of familiarity and comfort. Your memories of the past, your memories of her, having her in your life is a comfort zone. There's familiarity there. And moving beyond that is extremely painful and uncomfortable, which is why your mind and your body is trying to run back to that comfort. That girlfriend of yours, that ex of yours is a physical comfort zone. And 
and comfort is the number one killer of a man's dreams. And a totally valid option to make sure that you run away from this comfort zone is to just go out and get a hotter girl and never think about your ex again. You know, that works too and is completely encouraged. Right person, wrong time. A big reason men romanticize their ex and find trouble getting over their relationship is because they cling to the idea that if timing or circumstances were different, it could have worked out. This is a fallacy. It doesn't even make logical sense because if it's the wrong time, that means she's actually not the right one for you. The right girl for you would be the one who's there for you at the right time. So the fact that she is there at the wrong time means that she's not the right person for you. The only person who can be right for you is the person who's there for you at the right time. If she was right for you, then she wouldn't have left you. Haha, uh, get it? If she was right for you, she, she wouldn't have left you. Anyway, you need to take this time to realize that time and circumstances are not in our control. So we have to play the hand we're dealt to the fullest of our ability. Any time spent wishing for something else is time wasted that you'll never get back. The past simply does not exist. The past is gone. It's never coming back. And because of that, that means it doesn't even exist anymore. All the time you spend sulking in the past is basically time spent off in fairy tale land. And that is a travesty because time is the most precious asset we have. It is the raw material that the universe provides us so that we can create and conquer our life. And if you waste it on imaginary things from the past, you are showing a deep lack of respect for yourself and your own time. And all of this time is time that should be spent actually getting over her. I know we've covered a lot of different mindsets and reframes and perspectives to make getting over the breakup easier but perhaps one of the most tangible tips that i could give you is to write her a letter i know this sounds crazy you're gonna say oh my god you sound like fucking sam why would you write a girl a letter but hear me out now what i mean by this is you want to sit down you want to get a pen piece of paper and i want you to write every single thing that you're feeling right now everything that you want to say everything that you wish could happen everything that you wish would happen in your current scenario the physical manifestation and outlet of letting all of your feelings out on paper not just typing it and push pressing buttons on your notes app on your phone or on a google doc there's something special there's an energetic transfer and release that happens when you put pens to paper and you write every fucking thing that is on your mind everything that you're feeling everything that you want to say to your ex but you can't because she blocked you or because you know talking to her is just going to reopen old wounds put it all out there be completely unabashed unapologetic and just say exactly what's on your mind exactly what is on your heart the point of this is is that by the time you're finished with this letter and you've gotten everything out on paper it's extremely cathartic to be able to have all of these emotions finally be transferred from you to the pen to the page and what we do finally is we fucking destroy the letter we burn it you rip it up and throw it off a cliff you throw it in the ocean you do whatever you need to do to completely burn and get rid of these feelings the very act of getting all of your emotions out in this very physical way on a page and then destroying it is very symbolic and it sends a signal to your brain and your body that hey we have physically put all of this out there and now we have destroyed it and we are moving on and it's important to go into this practice with the idea of that i'm going to say everything that needs to be said i'm going to set time aside to feel sad to feel all of these emotions to let them flow through the pen and onto the paper and once i'm done i'm going to physically destroy this page that carries and embodies everything that I'm feeling and once it is destroyed I'm going to move on with my life I'm not going to think about this anymore your ex will fade into a distant memory eventually you won't even remember her anymore and if you do you're no longer going to entertain these feelings you're no longer going to be stuck in the past and the only time you'll ever remember your ex is as a distant memory and that's okay because that's exactly what's supposed to happen and doing this practice is very physical, it's very emotional, it's very visceral practice, ironically can do a lot for you. It'll make you feel better not only in the short term, but in the long term, because you are setting the intention of, I'm going to get all of this out of me, and I'm going to get this over with, and then I'm going to move on. And the physical act of doing so can be very, very powerful because it sends a subconscious signal to both your body and your mind that we are now moving past the phase of grief and moving on to the stage where we're actually starting to move forward and put this behind us. A golden opportunity. Energy can't be created or destroyed. These emotions and cloud of energy that you're feeling can't simply be wished away. It may suck to hear this, but this is actually the opportunity of a lifetime. If you pour all of that energy into something else, this could be one of the most productive times of your entire life. And that's why in the previous tip, I actually recommended pouring all of that energy into a physical page because now it's out of you and somewhere else and you can totally remove it from your life. You can pass it on to something else. The amount 
of motivation and drive you have to upgrade yourself as a person reaches sky high limits after a breakup. You can progress 10 times as fast as you would during normal circumstances. Take this time to upgrade yourself as a man, upgrade your status as cringy and overplayed out as that sounds. Pour this energy into your career so that as your status raises during this period, so too do your options. Use this opportunity to get serious about your communication skills. Approach more girls than ever. Talk to more women on dating apps. Completely overhaul and revamp your dating apps, your photos, your profile. Learn how to get so good at this that you can replace her and the relationship with someone who's 10 times better for you. If you're determined to use this opportunity to solve your dating life once and for all, the most efficient way to attract and retain high quality women who are genuinely interested in you is via the three-part pipeline. I just released a brand new video explaining the three-part pipeline and how you can use it to pack your calendar full of dates with model quality women. The three-part pipeline is exactly what my student Yaro used to land over 20 plus dates in just over 30 days and pack his calendar full of women. And no, he's not some six foot four male model. He's just an average looking Indian guy. And if you're a successful high value guy like Yaro, I can plug this same three part pipeline into your dating life and get you on one to three or more dates per week in the next 30 days, 100% guaranteed. This exact system has gotten guys insane results over the last year, but we finally revealed how it all works in this brand new video. So if you want guaranteed dates and the exact copy paste system you can use to get those dates, all you gotta do is click the link below to check it out and start implementing it in your dating life today. And with that, my friends, I will see you in the next video. Stay strong and move past this breakup the only way you can, one step at a time.